cultural diplomacy is a way to bridge the gap that all too have to know exists between countries and cultures by understanding each other, by understanding also the aesthetic approach of, uh, of different countries. So it's a unique opportunity to enter into a, a really useful dialogue. I'm Klaus Ottmann. Uh, I am uh, Chief Curator Emeritus at the Philips Collection. I worked at the Philips Collection for 12 years. The 101 series uh, was started in 2011, uh, shortly after I arrived at the Philips Collection. I had this idea um, to invite one artist, contemporary artist, to come to the Philips, pick one or several works from the collection and juxtapose them with one or several works of theirs. It started with me discovering this artist, Luis Archimius. Uh, early on when I started working here, he was a very interesting, strange artist. <laughs> Uh, and so I, I, I got really interested in him and started reading up on him and I always had this idea of wanting to do something with him. And then I found out that there were some contemporary artists interested in him as well. Uh, among them Ugo Rondinone. So, and then I found out that Ugo has quite a lot of his work. <laughs> So I thought, hey, that would be an interesting idea. Maybe he would be interested in doing this collab such a collaboration. These works you know, were very personal and are based on really a, a period of mourning that Hugo went through when his longtime partner died, and uh, and that he that they're based on sketches that he made walking in the woods. What? really matters or touches me uh, the closest are the big paintings or etchings of imaginary forests. I'm someone who spends a lot of time in nature and there is something mysterious about these etchings that I really like. Well, first of all, first of all, he's Swiss, but uh, we have two important uh, uh, works of this artist at our own residence. But I also have to mention that his two most well-known pieces were produced and exhi exhibited in America. So there is a long-standing relationship between Ugo Rondinone as a Swiss artist and the United States of America. So the art world in Switzerland is uh, much, much uh, bigger than one would actually assume. And the biggest art market in the world, Art Basel, which in the meantime is all over the planet. And by the way, there is also an Art Basel in Miami every year. So Switzerland is one of the epicenters of the art uh, market in the world.